Hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to Stonehouse. Why don't you join me, see some behind the scenes? Let's go! Here's some behind the scenes for you. Hours and hours. Sat in room beds, sat in mud, and just waiting. At the moment, I'm scouting the area for Chetty's Warbler in the hopes to get some footage for my final video. Well, like I was saying earlier, that sometimes it takes hours and hours. Lucky for me, it took about 10 minutes. So, you know, sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. So, with that being done so quickly, it's time to enjoy some chocolate buns. And also chat to you guys about post-production and the final evaluation for this project. Oh, <laughs> what open. Well, sorry, I don't want me to film it. So when it came to post-production, I had to put a lot of time into cutting my footage. Starting off with over 300 clips and four hours, and ending up with around 35 clips and a two minute and 44 second video. So yeah, took a while. So once I'd put it into a rough cut, it was suggested that I change the music, script, narrator, some of the ugly shots, stabilize some of my handheld footage, and reorder my video in some other way. Either starting out with the birds or starting out with beautiful shots of the canal. So the first thing I did was put four different versions of my final video together. Whilst editing these four videos, I decided not to include the part that focused on restoration. Because really, I just didn't feel it really did justice, and I think Honestly, it's probably a video all on its own. Once I'd chosen which out of the four structures to go with, it was time to jump onto Fiverr and find myself a narrator. Because to be honest, my narration was pretty crap. From an evaluation standpoint, I think overall this project's gone really, really well. Although there were a few ups and downs. It's the UK, so there are tons of cloudy days, rainy days, and there was a couple of icy days where just, you know, you just can't film. It's not only weather that's caused disruption, at the moment they're doing a lot of work alongside the canal. Filming, not great, kind of loud, kind of noisy, and just disruptive really. I suppose the final down point I had was COVID and my equipment. An assistant would have been especially helpful when I've had wildlife appear straight in front of me, when I somehow had to take off all my kit, set up my tripod in a split second, which is just almost impossible. So there were tons of missed shots because of that. On some more positive notes though, my research, location scouting, patience and determination were all reasons for the successful filming. Choices of equipment meant I was able to get close-up shots of the wildlife. My choice of location really helped too. By choosing somewhere where I had a lot of knowledge of the area and having local contacts, gave me a much better chance of finding the wildlife and understanding the history of the area for the final video. And finally, attending all of the feedback sessions, editing and storytelling lectures really helped me to shape and create my story and make it a success. So that was vlog four and the final vlog for this module. Just for coming along, up on my button, I'll show you that.